This is one of the most important shortcuts you will ever learn, because without it, you'll be wasting countless hours, days, even weeks of your life. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the fastest way to move around a spreadsheet. The way this works is there's a couple pieces to it. So let's start with an empty sheet, right? If I wanna move it to the different cells with the keyboard, I'll hit the arrows. That part's pretty straightforward. If I wanna select as I go, I'll hit the shift key and then the arrows. Now notice if I go to the right, it expands that way. If I go down, it expands uh, down and I get this little rectangle. If I go left, notice how it's kind of keeping that uh, initial point as the, as the selection start, but it will expand based on how I'm moving with the arrows as well. So think of shift as schlepping. You're taking it with you. You're taking it, uh, the selection with you as you go. Hence, schlep also sounds a little similar with the first letters. So that's the idea. The other piece to this is, if you want to move around really quickly, you can actually use the control arrows. So notice where I am right now. I'm right over here. If I hit control left, I will jump or catapult to the edge of the data. If I go control right, I'm gonna catapult to the other edge, right? It'll go down, left, up. It's all going on these corners because that's where the data is. How exactly it works with the edge of the data is not super critical. You'll get a feel for it as you go through. But basically anything that has data in it, if it's text, if it's a formula, if it's numbers, it's all good as long as it's not empty. So control arrows will catapult you to the next edge of the data. The really, really, really amazing part is to combine both things together. So I'll start over here. I'll hit control, shift, and then down. I'll select as I go that whole area. And I can expand the selection by doing control, shift to the right. And notice I got this whole section. So this is where the real power comes in. You can combine the catapulting and the schlepping together. The control, shift, arrows. Some sheer words of wisdom. What makes this so powerful is that you can actually use this concept when you are writing a formula as well. If I were to do, let's say, a sum, I can actually do control, shift, down, and it's gonna keep that reference for me here in the selection of those cells inside of the formula. We'll get to that a little bit later, but it's one of those things that applies everywhere. I'm gonna undo that. I've created some exercises for you to practice how to do this. So if you're gonna start with the empty sheet, you can practice it by using the control and the arrows to jump around. If you wanna to go to this cell, this worksheet over here, again, the point is to bold all of the cells and of course to use the catapulting and schlepping as you go. So a lot of these are a little different, um, but go through them and use the catapulting and schlepping and bolding as you go. Don't forget to visit Excelsior.com where you can download these exercises along with other free resources such as keyboard shortcut cheat sheets for both PC and Mac. Thanks for watching, see you next time. And one quick story, I was watching a documentary the other day and it turns out the Beatles broke up because they weren't sharing the Excel love. Teachable moment.